Who here is familiar with removing subjects from backgrounds? And I wonder what tool that you're familiar with. Is it the pen tool? Is it the magic wand tool? Is it the quick selection tool? If you are using any of these three tools at the moment, you're not doing anything wrong. In fact, if you're used to that, then that's fine. But I'm gonna show you two buttons that will save you a lot of time. Who here is familiar with this type of workflow? You can see how this is a little bit time consuming, right? Imagine doing 15 of these a day. Take a bit of time, right? But one of the things that we realize is that this is one of the main tasks that is performed in Photoshop, removing backgrounds from images. So we decided to introduce two buttons and they are called select subject and remove background. If you come over to your properties tab, as you can see over here, and of course, if you don't have it selected, just go over to Window and Properties. You'll notice here there are two quick actions here. We've got Remove Background and we've got Select Subject. These are the two buttons, guys. Now guys, Select Subject is not new, but what I'm gonna show you will make it useful to anyone working with photos of people. Now you can see here by clicking on the Select Subject, the tool uses AI to automatically select and mask the subject of this photograph. Previously, it didn't do the greatest job with a lot of harder selections such as hair. If I have a look here, it's done a pretty good job, 90 to 95% of the way there. But now that we've had an update to the algorithm, this now allows select subject to first recognize what that subject actually is and refine down that selection based on the context. So the context here is the hair. So now all I need to do is click remove background. And as you can see, it's done a stellar job of this. Two buttons guys, select subject and remove background. That's it. If we zoom into the hair here, when a person is detected, additional algorithms are used specifically to mask out that subject's hair. And this will give you a more refined result to the outcome that you're trying to achieve. Let's take a look at one more. Here's an example of something that would be quite complex to do when it comes to these type of shots. You can see how hard this would be to perform a deep etch using the three tools as mentioned earlier. But let's run select subject. If I click select subject, you'll see it does its thing. It's done a pretty good job of analyzing the hair, especially around the person itself. And now all we need to do is remove that background. And just like that, we've got a great result and we can go in and refine that if we need to. Look at that result. You could not do that with a pen tool. So that's it, I just wanted to show you Two buttons in Photoshop in case you didn't know. Select subject, remove background. If you haven't explored those already, go in and take a look. I guarantee you it's gonna save you so much time. So if you like this video, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more, just hit the subscribe button. And remember, never stop creating.